Take a few questions. Yes, sir. They should see to it that the American public will vote on the Senate races in this election, and they'll vote Republicans out of office. That's the consequence. That's the focus. That's why I want to make it clear and stay on message here. The clear focus is, this is about your health care. This is about whether or not the ACA will exist. This is about whether or not pre-existing conditions will be continued to be covered. This is about whether or not a woman can be charged more for the same procedure as a man. This is about people's health care in the middle of a pandemic. Yes. You asked me one question. Fire away. No, I have not. I, I, I concluded that that would put them in a position, if they were to vote the right way, that they'd be compromised because I called them. And so, but I know, I, I have re great respect for a number of my Republican colleagues, my former Republican colleagues, and uh, I'm hoping they will do the right thing. <laughs> He's almost — no, I have no comment. Yes? I am not — and I, I, I know you're going to be upset with my answer. But what I'm not going to do is play the Trump game, which is a good game he plays. Take your eye off the issue before us. If I were to say yes or no to that, that becomes a big issue. That's the headline here. I am focused on one thing right now, and I really mean it. I'm focused on making sure the American people understand that they're being cut out of this process they're entitled to be part of. And the cutout is designed in order to take away the ACA and your health care in the midst of a pandemic. That's the focus. That's what it's on. And that's the deal. Thank you all so very, very much. Thank you. What do, you, what do you feel like you have to accomplish to be successful on Tuesday? What, what do you have to do to win this debate? Just tell the truth. Thank you.